The next tab that we need to cover is the site tab. The site tab has basically uh, inputs that are that deal with wind, incline, and target speed. So some of the options we have for wind data is to input very simply our wind speed and direction by clicking and dragging this arrow. That's a 15 mile per hour wind at one o'clock. The magnitude of the wind is determined by how long the arrow is. So a short arrow is five, six miles an hour, long arrow we're down up to 25 miles per hour. So let's set that at 10 miles per hour and at three o'clock. That's a nice convenient wind input. Uh, this single wind input is used in our chart output, but if we're going to the fire solution, we can use a multiple wind solution. And we can put wind inputs for the midpoint and at the target. Let's say we've, the wind's totally different at the target. And these inputs will be accommodated in our fire solution. In uh, this target speed and direction, we actually can calculate uh, the hold for a moving target. Obviously, we do not recommend shooting it at animals when they're moving unless, uh, unless you need to make a follow-up shot because, uh, because an animal's wounded or something. But uh, th this is great fun for practice or shoot environments or, you know, coyotes especially. You, you can get shot opportunities with a moving target. So if that target's moving at 10 miles per hour, 3 o'clock, we'll get a, a target lead calculation. Finally, we have the incline input. Incline can be determined by using uh, an inclinometer, perhaps your rangefinder has an incline output, or you're using one of the ACI uh, devices from Sniper Tools that give you a cosine correction. And that's a pretty handy unit to have because you can, in a pinch, you can use it to calculate your rifleman's rule correction without your handheld. But you can take the inputs in cosine or 0.98 or in degrees, and it will convert back and forth between the two. So if you're 10 degrees, then it will also calculate your cosine. So cosine is 0 to 1, so you'll be a decimal place. And then degrees, obviously, minus 90 to plus 90 is your range. That's pretty straightforward. That concludes our inputs, our basic inputs for the load, environment, and site tabs.